Okay. WKRG News 5 is your election headquarters, and tomorrow is election day. Technology makes counting millions of votes a near instant calculation, but has it also made us vulnerable to hackers? News 5's Jason Carter investigates cybersecurity at the ballot box. The 2016 election remains under investigation. However, election experts continue to try and make sure your vote is not corrupted by someone's ability to hack the system. It's our job to be able to be ahead of the hackers, not to wait and see what hackers do. A computer and an access point is the only weapon a hacker needs. University of South Alabama Computing School Dean Dr. Alec Yassensack has led investigations into election tampering for nearly two decades. Most computer scientists believe that the uh, advantage is to the attacker. His career started with the contentious hanging chat election in 2000. He followed that investigation with a Florida congressional race involving touchscreen voting machines. Thousands of votes weren't counted. The concern was that someone had injected malware into the code that caused the race to not appear or the race or, or, or it did something to encourage voters to skip the race or erase votes. It was hardly the first time American elections were suspect or shown to be vulnerable. Just last year, a computer technology company hosted a hacking seminar in Florida for 12-year-olds. They infiltrated a pretend election commission and changed votes. That particular activity was a bit of grandstanding. You just set it up and you give them access that they wouldn't have under normal scenarios and you create a script for them to step through. To avoid problems, Alabama reverted to an older voting method. The state uses paper ballots and scans results. Judge Don Davis, who oversees elections in Mobile County, says some people would say we've gone backwards instead of forwards. But with all this hacking stuff that's been going on, perhaps it's good we went the way we went. However, eventually voting will occur on our cell phone, on our tablet, on our computers. And while voting will increase, the chances of altered results will as well. It's going to happen that as things become more and more electronic, someone will figure out a way to be able to change the outcome of an election. The best way to ensure election security, experts say, higher voter turnout. Blank ballots are the most susceptible to fraud. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jason Carter, WKRG News 5.